now that we have the entire, this side of the room cleared out <laughs> on this side of the room, we can now work on prepping and cleaning the floor for down here. Uh, you can see kind of a line there. Uh, that's where I cleaned from this side to this side, but I haven't actually cleaned from this side over yet because all my tools were there. This is how we're gonna do it. Um, this is like we've done in regular other videos before, uh, is take a grinder with the wire wheel attachment on it. And it's going to knock down all of the stuff that is anything proud of the concrete. So like for instance, there's a blob of mud right there that will flatten that out. And then if there's any left insulation or glue or anything on this area, they'll get rid of it and then we'll come back through and sweep vacuum, blow it all out clean it and then we can do the rest of the floor. I've got that disconnected from the wall and raised up on two by fours. And so as I put the flooring underneath of it, I can move that two by four on or off with the flooring. It'll make it pretty easy. And then we'll set that back down, screw it to the wall, put the countertop on, et cetera. So our next goal is to clean the floors. So let's do that. are getting close check it out so we have to go around the fireplace still which is no big deal it's easy cuts no stuffing under doorways like this one check it out we got clean that looks and then over here we're just going to run the flooring underneath and i'm using those two by fours to lift up the booth itself that way we can put the flooring underneath of it and then we'll set it back down Normally, you don't want to stick cabinets or anything like this on top of the flooring uh, because it won't allow it to expand and contract us like I was mentioning earlier. Except for this one won't be fastened to the ground, it'll just be fastened to the wall. And then if they ever want to remove this to make space or because they're putting an addition off of this side and they don't want it there anymore, but they're okay with the flooring still, the flooring will be there, just not, it won't be cut around it so there won't be a blank spot. So that was the reasoning for putting flooring underneath there. So we just had a little bit more to do there and then some straight runs here. And then we got all the way to the end of the door jam opening here. And it looks sharp all the way across as well. And so all we gotta do is this section and that section, and we'll be good. So going around an object in the middle of the room is a lot like going around the doorway up there. So I'm gonna slide this to where it's going to meet up with here. And then I'll make a mark here and then I'll slide it like so, and then mark it right here. Now I'm gonna leave myself some, some playing room because there's actually gonna be some stone on the face of this, so this doesn't have to be very close. And we still need a quarter inch there as well. So now that's marked, we can cut. If you remember, when we cut those little small pieces right there, we cut three quarters of an inch off of the small size flooring, like this one, and then we left them out there on the table just in case when we came across to the other end that we could use it. And we can, so we came to this other side and we have, the, I think the cutoff piece is about three and a quarter inches, and this is going to be two and three quarters. So I just need to cut those down to size. And that's nice because we didn't use hardly any flooring, wasted hardly flooring anyways. So that's great. So anyways, we're gonna use those in there. Stuff's nasty. 
This, it's like rubber. There, it just sticks to you. Now that we got the flooring completely installed for underneath there, we can lift this up and put it back down. Just like that. I don't know if you guys ever have this happen to you, but I've opened 15 boxes and I just now found the piece that I was looking for. Craziness. Anyways, this is the last piece. <sighs> Clapping push up for victory. Now that we are finished, all we have left to do is basically clean up. We can take these boxes and throw them away. We can organize that stack organize this stuff, put the tools in my truck, and so on, and get ready for the next project. But anyways, I just wanted to share with you something uh, before I get cleaned up here for the day. So we haven't put the transition pieces in for these doors yet, but it's not a huge trip hazard because these are nice and flat. Uh, and then also, right, it's right up against the carpet over there. Uh, but on this one, uh, since this building this was the original hay barn for the property, and then they converted it into a church, and they added this on, but the floors don't quite match up, so there's a little bit of a hump there. And so that flooring was sticking up proud a bit, and we got quite a few older people that shuffle their feet, and if they shuffled their feet across that, they would most likely trip. So we have come through and uh, used our concrete drill and tap conned, uh, or put some tap cons in, that way it holds it down nice and tight. This board is a sacrificial board because once we actually start flooring in here, we'll take this board up and continue on the flooring through here. As you can tell, the building isn't square because it fits, my perfect cut fits right there. But then when you get over here, there's a gap right there. So when we actually cut the board for it to fit here, we will miter around that and make it look good. But for now, since we're not flooring in there yet, uh, we want to make that nice and easy to walk on and then the colors match really well. But anyways, let's start doing some cleanup.